welcome back, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is your girl, the bougie hippie. Yes, sir. And I'm glad that you're here kicking it with us today. So I don't want this to be a super long intro, but I did want to say this. I just wanted to say that I hope you are all staying strong and remaining safe out here. And my heart goes out to all of you during this time. And we are all in this together. We are all going to get through this and just nothing but much love, support, and endless prayers from me. And you know, um, we're all gonna make it out of this, but much love. So to lighten the mood for today's DIY, which is my very first DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own patches. It's really easy, really simple, and you'll probably have most of these supplies in your home already, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the supplies you're going to need is some denim fabric, which you can get from an old pair of jeans, some Sharpies, some acrylic paint or fabric paint, some scissors, some felt, a hot glue gun with hot glue gun sticks, of course some safety pins and this last one is optional but it'd be a seam ripper or an exacto knife and of course last but not least your cell phone so for starters you're going to want to find your images where you can use google pinterest me personally i just screenshot some of my favorite giffies jiffies thingies you know what i'm talking about off of instagram and i'm just going to be tracing that design onto the back of the denim fabric and with this you don't have to be super detailed and it is also okay if you mess up a little bit because we are going to be painting on top of these so for any details or any errors you can always fix that with a little bit of paint And now with our design that we just drew out, we're just gonna be cutting that out of the fabric. And I ended up trimming mine down some. Once I drew it out completely, I realized it was a little bit big for a patch. So I just trimmed down that excess and we're just gonna be cutting that bad boy out. And I already had two others pre-drawn out and cut out. So we'll be working with these three today. So starting off with our kitten paw first, I'm just gonna be going in with some pink paint for our kitten pads and then it's just gonna be a white paw overall for our patch. And this is where you can use whatever you have on hand, whether it's acrylic paint and or fabric paint. And I ended up putting some newspaper underneath my patch while I was painting, just because I didn't wanna get my floors messy. So I definitely recommend creating some workspace with something that protects wherever you're working. That way you just don't get a mess everywhere while you are doing this DIY. And for our bubble tea patch, we're just gonna be repeating that same process. And I'm just going in with some lavender and light purple paints. And then I'm gonna be adding some depth with different shades of purple to add more detail and depth into our patch here. If you don't happen to have paint at home, you can always use Sharpies to decorate your patches or even if you know how to embroider, you can embroider over your designs. It's all in what you wanna make it and how you wanna create your own patches when you are doing this DIY. And with our last patch, I'm just keeping it close to the photo. So going in with those light pink paints and just going to be keeping it as close to and detailed as like the photo that I'm using for inspiration for this patch. So once you have your patches painted, you're just gonna take your felt and then you're gonna place your patch on top of that and you're gonna trace that out that design once again because we're gonna use the felt as a backing to also give your patch a little bit more stiffness so it feels more like a patch and it's not so flimsy. And we're just gonna cut that out once more and then once you have that cut out, you're going to glue it to the back of your patch. So here you'll just be applying the hot glue all over to the back of your patch. You can get crazy with it, just make sure that you do have an even coat that way you don't have any edges fraying up or peeling off from your patch so now you can smooth that out just to make sure that the hot glue is dried and it is securely attached and then you're just going to trim off any excess felt that is showing from your patch 
So now once you have all of your patches with the felt attached to the back, you're going to be taking those safety pins and placing them to the back of your patch just to make sure that they fit properly and then you're going to be gluing those down. And just make sure that you do unhook the safety pin and you're only gluing down the part with the cap and not the actual part that sticks stuff. So once you have your safety pins attached to the back of your patches, you're just going to be taking some of your leftover denim fabric and tracing out your design once more and cutting this out. This is going to be used to support the backing and your safety pins, that way it does not fall off from your patch. And then of course we are going to be essentially gluing this to the back of your patch. So before we glue this down, we're just gonna make sure that we do line it up and then also unhook the safety pin once again. And this is when a seam ripper or an X-Acto knife can come in handy, but you can still use your scissors just the same. And we're going to be creating a small opening for the head of the safety pin. That way these patches can actually be removable. So if you wanted to change them in and out or put them on different things, you can always do that by creating the small opening to allow you to hook and unhook your patches. So once you've created that small opening, you're just going to line that back up and actually stick the dangerous part of the safety pin through that denim fabric and close the safety pin. That way it's going to make it a lot harder for the safety pin to unhook when you do hook your patch to your jackets or book bags or whatever you choose to stick it on. And once you've done that, you're just going to glue down that top layer of denim fabric and just be careful to make sure that you don't glue down the part that you use to unhook and hook your safety pin. That way it won't get stuck and you won't be able to actually use it. And if you have to do some adjusting, that's completely fine, like cutting off some more fabric just to be able to use your safety pin, whatever works to make it easy for you to use. And then you're just going to be repeating that same process for all of your other patches. And if you wanted something that was more permanent, instead of being able to be removable, instead of applying the backings, once you apply the hot glue to the back of your patch, you would just make sure that that is evenly coated because you would place that to whatever surface that you choose and use an iron to set that, the hot glue would then melt and now your patch is attached to your item of choice. And now all that is left is to attach your patch. So you're just gonna find your favorite denim jacket, book bag, whatever you choose, and just stick your patch on. And you can get as creative as you'd like with these, try different techniques, try different things for your patches, but you'll definitely have some unique patches that saves you a lot of money versus the 15 and $12 ones that was in the store. You'll thank me later. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoy my very first DIY and that you make it your own. And if you do happen to try to recreate this, just tag me on my social media at the bougie hippie so I can see what patches you create. And until next time, bye babies.